Hi, my name is Abdin Khan. I'm an actor and filmmaker and I create online content since the age of 12. And actually, um, end of this month is going to be my 10-year uh, anniversary making YouTube videos under the alias of King Khan Abs on YouTube. So that's pretty cool. In terms of acting, the way that I got into it, I've always been interested in acting and I've always wanted to do it since the age of 8. Um, I was in a, in a show called Snow White and the Seven Jockeys at the age of 11. I played the Huntsman. I've also been um, involved in a lot of our local youth theatre stuff, Berlin Youth Theatre, where I did um, the Snow Queen. I was one of the wizards. I was involved in a play called uh, Moon Fleece where I played uh, a Pakistani runaway called uh, Link and that was quite an um, experience uh, working with different actors and um, uh, like networking with them and um, realising the different talents. In terms of plays and theatre I've also done a performance called Bound to My Culture which I did um, when I was 16 and it raised awareness of um, you know relationships in Asian culture and how um, studies and, and, and marriages work. Um, so that was quite interesting. I played the big brother in that. Back when I was studying in Tom Sweet and Sixth Form in Burnley, I also was involved in a play by Oscar Wilde called The Importance of Being Earnest. I played Dr. Reverend Chasuble, which was quite fun to play, you know. We had a, quite a laugh doing it. Um, it was just like really fun um, with all my classmates. On that same year, we also made a device piece for our Sixth Form, which was called Times Are Changing, which um, followed our family through different generations from like, you know, World War into the actual modern era. And that play broke different issues such as, you know, um, PTSD and like um, accepting homosexuality um, and I played um, the family friend um, Ranjit and um, who who came into Britain um, in the 70s so that was a fun portrayal. Interestingly enough as well um, a few years later I believe in 2015 um, we took that play and brought it to Edinburgh Fringe Festival where we performed it and the way we promoted the play was me standing around uh, acting all sad and everything like that whereas all my mates were behind me with like placards with like racist placards and stuff like that saying you know go home and stuff like that um, and that was an interesting you know promotional um, technique because we did get like a full house whenever we did perform because people were so intrigued by this concept you know so that was quite interesting when I was in university in the University of Salford uh, I performed The Crucible I played John Proctor and that was quite interesting as well you know because as, as an actor I tried to get really um, immersed in my role and so and because John Proctor is trying to be a good Christian um, I tried to do that as well so I tried to learn the Ten Commandments which I did do and um, it was really interesting because it, it was a thing where I got to um, understand more about my character and you know um all the all the things that go through his mind in terms of on-screen acting i've done a fair few short films been involved behind the scenes camera operating and editing and like directing as well as acting in front of the camera in sixth form i made uh, two shorts one called the time bomb where i pretty much did everything by myself i cloned myself everything like that and it was pretty bad i'm not gonna lie it's, it was pretty shoddy you know as a, as a what 17 year old it's it pretty bad and then uh, the following year i made a um, harry potter spin-off called the Auras oracle where i di acted directed and wrote the and edited the whole thing myself with the help of my friend joe and um it was like a spin-off where my character was like a wizard cop you know that's gone rogue um, which was really fun to do mind you i was really ill while we were shooting that in uh, winter time <laughs> In university, um, I did um, a few shorts. I made a sh um, comedy sketch slash short film called Messed Up, where um, I wrote and sort of directed that. And it was sort of improvised as well at the same time. Um, I, did, I, I gave myself a little cameo role where um, I was playing the person that's getting assaulted right there. I was also involved in my uh, main short film called Rest Your Legs, where I played one of the roles. And uh, that was quite fun to do because it's always exciting and joyful when you're acting and filming with your friends. In terms of recent endeavors, because I had been working behind the cameras for about a few years, or so doing videography kind of work, filming weddings, um, editing promo videos, you know, doing all these kind of things just to just to make money. I, I really wanted to get back into acting because I missed it and that was the profession that I, I chose. So I've joined Yorkshire School of Acting where I'm doing a weekly sessions. And it's always interesting and quite intriguing to see all these different people working on the same script and like, or, or partnering up with a person and seeing an amalgamation of all these different ideas and, and just be like, oh, you know what? Um, I didn't know that the script can be um, seen in this way. So I've always found it pretty fascinating, the fact that, you know, or we can give the same script to different actors uh, and many performers and like uh, they'll come up with something different um, based on what they read and what they feel. Uh, at the moment as well I'm also doing a lot of um, supporting artist roles, doing a bit of background or a bit of feature roles in like um, ITV series dramas which I can't name at the moment because 
I might get kicked off it. Um, so that's always nice because I'm, I'm I'm actually involved in the industry and I can see how you know how directors are directing, how actors are behaving, and um, it's always it's always good to sort of people watch in that sense and just see how everything works. So. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much me in terms of acting in a quick little long-ish rumble Because um, I've been trying to just go through it all quite quickly. I guess in terms of like hobbies I, I do like I do like making music whenever I can do I like playing on the keyboard or on the piano and like jamming to some songs either like um, Writing lyrics and rapping or like singing a little bit. So there's that me, Just don't know who we were ever meant to be um, I don't think there's really much to um, much to really say because I, 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 I'm trying my best to keep this video um, short and sweet but I do talk a lot and I'll probably try to edit this down um, but uh, yeah yeah that right <sighs>